Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Staying and selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Oh, man, Cleveland investors. Do I have a treat for y'all today, baby? What do I got here? Check it out. 3550 Seymour Ave, folks. Right there on Tremont, outskirts of Tremont, right? Kind of nestled in between Tremont and you're hop, skipping a jump over there from Ohio City, right? A quad, a fourplex, a four unit deal. You guys know it. If you've been watching Holton Wise TV for any length of time, you know I love the fourplex, the four unit, the quad, whatever you want to call it. I love it. I love it more than anything. I love it more than duplexes. I love it more than triplexes. You're probably like, well, that makes sense. Three's more than two, four's more than three, right? But I also love it more than a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, a 10, an 11, and a 12 unit. Why? Because if you're trying to buy those small commercial buildings, right? Your five units, your six units, your seven, your eights, your nines, your tens, you don't get to get the beautiful 30-year residential financing, right? You have to use debt service coverage ratio loans and people selling buildings that are that small, uh, Popular opinion, I know a lot of y'all think these people are normally very organized sellers with like great P&L reports and things of that that you could give to your commercial lender and they'll be able to put together this beautiful loan package for you. Uh, but here in the real world, that's not how it works, right? So financing those types of assets, holy moly, it's terrible, right? So the four-unit building, y'all. The four-unit building is the most rent you could get and still qualify for that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful 30-year loan, baby. 30 years, fixed interest, low interest. Now, I know some of y'all are going to be low interest. The interest rates went up. <laughs> they went up from 3%, you freaking animals. Wow, how low did you think that money was going to be, right, folks? Uh, what we've seen here, in the last 10, 15 years, right? Uh, this was like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity in the real estate business coming out of like the largest real estate crash in like the history of this country. Uh, and those artificially low interest rates that we saw in the 3% range were directly related to that. So if you thought that that was going to become the status quo in the real estate market in the United States of America, you are not right. You are wrong. You are an idiot. Well, okay, that was harsh. Maybe you're not an idiot, but that's it's just no it's not how it's gonna go dog that ain't gonna work right where the rates are right now those are very very low rates uh if you compare them to historical uh rates number one number two it's still freaking low you guys are the kind of people out there freaking buying crap on your visa with a 29 percent apr by the way what's up with visa they're like yo the interest rate is this but then the apr to annualized percentage rate or whatever is like higher man they, they, oh, all that goofy stuff anyway the moral of the story is these rates are actually very very low the financing product uh you can get for this type of building is the most it's the most rent you could get paired with the best type of financing right and the rent let's talk about the rent dude we are dealing with rent amounts that I've never seen before in 2022. Rents are freaking going through the roof. And they're definitely going to go through the roof over here, being over there in Tremont, right? Uh, right now, we should be able to get 13 for each of these units, right? Could be bringing in a total of 5,200. Now, the current seller, uh, he's running this. He's an out-of-state investor. Uh, he's got... Uh, one tenant in there, right? The way he's operating this, he's only got one tenant. He kicked out the other three. One got evicted, uh, and that unit's pretty gross, right? Let's take a look at this unit, right? You see, like, it's a little grody. It's a little ugly. Uh, my guys tell me it's a little stinky, right? A little stinky, stinky. You're going to get that when you evict people. Sometimes the units, they get a little stinky, right? Uh, so we're going to need to freshen that bad boy up, clean it, paint it. But, you know, the big ticket items, like, it's it's really not messed up. Like, uh, you know, you got some cleaning and some painting and some destinkatizing. I made that word up, destinkatizing. You got to get it all not gross, right? Uh, but, like, your fixtures and stuff, right? It, it's fairly new, right? This building has went through recent renovations, right? So you got that one unit. That's a little uggo. Then the other unit, eh, just a little bit of work. And then the last unit, you know, that's actually pretty fresh, right? As you've been seeing through the footage here, uh, it's really not that much, right? few grand here, a couple grand, right? 
probably get everything ready to rock and roll totally 100% occupied for, you know, I would guesstimate probably 10-ish, right? 10-ish somewhere in there. Get the whole thing running. If you're doing the work yourself, way less, right? Get that sweat, sweat equity in there, right? Uh, you could totally have a fully occupied rocking and rolling for 5200 a month. Now, one thing to note about the tenant unit two that's only paying 998 if I were you, I would focus on getting the three vacant units uh, ready to rock at 1300 and I probably wouldn't mess with that tenant because that tenant uh, is a long-term tenant, and that is going to be the most consistent type of rental income you ever get, man. That tenant's on Section 8, right? And the way the Section 8 program works, it's actually very complicated. Every tenant has to pay, like, a differing amount of the rent. So sometimes the voucher amount is for most of their rent, half of their rent, et cetera, et cetera, right? It, it, it's a moving target, and it varies. But, dude, this chick, it's sweet. Her total rent is 998 Section 8 uh, CMHA as it's ran here in Cuyahoga County. They pay 995 so this chick literally only has to write a three dollar rent check to the landlord every month that's why she's lived there for a long time and that's why she's probably never going to want to move out so if you want friggin twelve thousand dollars a year all year every year no friggin questions asked even if your tenant somehow decides to stiff you you're only out three friggin dollars that's pretty damn consistent right so i probably wouldn't mess with that tenant uh but if you wanted to get that up to market rent again, you could, 1300 so we could be bringing in a total of 5200 right? Y'all talk about the 1% rule. Well, 1% rule on a property like this would position this at a $520,000 price point. You're only having to pay three sixty nine nine, folks. This thing's badass. Oh, one more thing. But wait! There's more! R.I.P. Billy Mays. He's a man. Who doesn't love Billy Mays, man? That guy. He loved towels and sham wows and cocaine. Anyway, uh, three sixty nine nine. The more, the more is the lead cert, right? You gotta get stuff lead certified here in Cleveland. Those are brand new, right? Brand new laws. Been around. Uh, working on two years now of like rolling it out, and it's gonna be like completely officially done at the end of 2022. Guess what? This property's already passed the lead certification stuff. I should have my guys popping up the paperwork right here, right? They already went through the tests. Uh, inspector has already passed it, so the lead cert will be being issued uh, by the city of Cleveland here very shortly. So what you are gonna get, folks, is you're gonna get a four-unit apartment building in a solid neighborhood, tons of rental demand. You don't have to worry about the lead certs. All you gotta do is clean up those three units, one of which actually looks pretty damn nice. The other one's in the middle, and then the other one is just a little stinky. Just needs to be de-stinkified, man. No big deal. Then you're gonna be drowning in cash flow. The most cash flow you can get with a beauty, beauty beautiful 30-year loan. Don't let me hear y'all complaining about these interest rates when they're really not that high. If you're ready to make an offer on this, send your offer to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. You want to pay cash? That's cool. Uh, send me proof of funds. You want to finance it, which I obviously recommend you do. Send me a pre-approval letter. You know, just send me an email. Hey, James, I want to buy 335. You should probably get the address right. I'm not. 3550 Seymour. I'm interested in buying it. 3550 Seymour, I'd like to pay 369.9. I'd like to uh, get a loan. Can you hook me up with a lender? Boom, I'll send you a lender. Then you give me your pre approval letter. Or if you want to pay cash, you'd be like, oh, I want to pay cash. Here's my proof of funds, screenshot of your bank account, something like that. If you want to get inside the three vacant units, not a problem. Reach out to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. We will get you inside so you can actually physically get in the units. And if you're working with your own real estate agent, that's totally fine with us information on how they could submit your offer they'll be able to get that through the mls and they will also be able to get showing instructions to those vacant units through the mls let's go thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment